Okay, I want to shoot a quick and updated video on how to install an HTML email signature in both the new Outlook and the web version of Outlook, which is very similar, which is why I'm shooting uh, one video for, for both. Just the, the steps to get to where you're going to place the email signature is a little bit different. But uh, other than that, it's basically the same. So let's start with, let's minimize this so it doesn't get confusing because they look so similar. Uh, let's start with the new Outlook. You can tell it's the new Outlook because up in the upper right is this little, uh, what's it called, a tick box? I don't know. Toggle? A toggle? Uh, that will say new Outlook. And if this was toggled off, I think it says you, you would be in the old Outlook and it says try the new Outlook and then you would toggle it on. Uh, I have a lot of clients that are switching over to the new Outlook and uh, for the longest time, it's been around for about a year now, maybe more. Uh, but now uh, more and more people are starting to use it. And just recently, Microsoft had an update that made the typical, let me show you an example quickly, of opening an HTML email signature in a browser, Control A to select all, Control C to copy it to your clipboard. Before I continue, this is no longer the right way to do it, so don't think I'm giving you instructions right now. I'm just showing you what will go wrong. And then to head into New Outlook, go to the gear up here. Uh, and then go to signatures and then create a new signature call it whatever you want and then in here is where we would control V as in Victor to paste it and for some reason it's working right now hmm I'm gonna continue this video because maybe Outlook fixed this problem like literally an hour ago but just in case, I want to show you a workaround if this doesn't work out because uh, the graphics were blowing up to a huge size and all of the formatted text was just turning um, into uh, everything was black uh, and it was called, the font was all changed to, I think it was called Optos. Um, let me see. Uh, like I said, I'm going to continue this video. So I control V as in Victor to paste it. And I'm going to, you have to hit save because it doesn't add your signature yet until you save it. And now I can add it. Maybe enough people complained. But Microsoft usually isn't that quick to, to fix things. So now let's hit new. And everything looks good. My only concern is that... The cool thing about the, the recent update was that uh, click-to-call links were working. Uh, and that was a constant or a um, common bug in uh, the new versions of Outlook. So I'm going to send myself a test and see if click-to-call works. In the meantime, let's take, we already have this email signature copy to our clipboard. Let's go to the web version of Outlook and see if that is fixed as well. I'm going to go to settings, compose and reply. This is where the, the steps are a little bit different. And then hit, type in test. And then in here, control V as in Victor. And it's fixed. They fixed it. I'm going to continue shooting this video, though, because I might need it as a backup. Because they might revert back to that recent update where everything was getting screwed up. But so far, so good. Again, we have to hit save. And then test. And then test. And then hit save again. Then I can close this out. Hit new. And I'm going to send myself another test. And why is my email signature not showing up? What did I do wrong there? I'm so distracted that the, uh, the reason I was shooting this video was... Why is my email signature not showing up? Was because of the issues. Uh, this is really weird. Oh, there it is. That is really weird. Okay. So I'll send myself a test. Uh, let's see if they fix this issue. I already got this test from the new Outlook. And click to call is broken again. 
Ha. Huh. Man. Well, at least they fixed that part. Uh, like the, the image is blowing up and getting all hideous. Let me see if it's the same for the web version of Outlook. I assume it is. Click the, click the call is disabled. They just strip it out. The email links work, but uh, the phone links are removed. Uh, but there's a fix for that. So I'm going to go back into settings. And this is the web version of Outlook. Compose and reply. Go to the signature. And here is where we just highlight the signature. And then it brings up this uh, formatting bar here and here's where we can add a link okay and we want to call it TEL short for telephone colon and then the number without periods if there are periods in your email signature you can keep those in the display as section but for the web address either the straight up number or hyphens I'm going to use hyphens Let's see if that changes. The problem is, is that that turns this into a link. But what we can do is at least make the color black, and maybe they'll let us remove the underline. They did. And now let's do the same thing here. Create the link. T-E-L colon and then your number with hyphens or just the straight up number whoops and then again it's going to turn into a hyperlink blue link highlight it change the color remove the underline and now let's save it and send ourselves a test again and in the meantime I am going to show the workaround for when the images were blowing up and all of the new Outlook and web version of Outlook was broken. So for that, I'm staying in the web version. Click on the gear, compose and reply. Let's add a new signature. And instead of copying and pasting, just like that, from the browser. Let's go back into the browser where we have the whole signature highlighted. Let's go a few steps back. I'm going to go back to the file. Double click on it. Open it in a browser. Control A to select all. And now instead of copying and pasting, we want to drag. So we have everything highlighted. I'm clicking within there and dragging it up to the mail tab that I have here and then dragging it into here and letting go. And that was the workaround um, for the recent update that looks like it got fixed. Okay, uh, and then uh, let me just test something out there and see if by doing this, we don't have to mess with the tell links. Okay, so I'm gonna close this and send a test three. Oh, that's a test too. Looks like the tell links are there, but as you can see, since I dragged it, everything is uh, underlined. Let's we'll see if we can fix that. So let's go back into here. And we have test two where I had fixed those links and they are indeed fixed. No underlines. So that works. Again, compared to the original test, those links, they were not working. So we had to go in there and futz with that. All right, test three. All the links are working, but they're underlined. Let's see if we can go in there and fix that. Whoops, go to the gear. Compose and reply. Test two. All the underlines are there. Again, we're, we're having to futz with things, and it doesn't look like we can change. Um, remove the underlines by this whole uh, like click and drag method. So kind of hesitating here. This is the method if Outlook gets screwed up again. Okay. If everything 
still works out and like they don't revert back to their recent update that got everything jacked up the best course of action is to control a control c to copy to your clipboard control v to paste and then to go in and like i showed earlier add the link yourself with that tel colon 808-936, well, I shouldn't spell this out, but do that, and then come back in here, and then turn it black, get rid of the underline, and that's, you know, it's still not perfect, it's not a perfect system, but uh, this is the way to do it in the meantime, but I'm going to keep this video just in case I need it, uh, and then let me just show in new outlook so in outlook we go to gear compose and reply and that gets us to the signature area in new outlook we go to the gear and signatures and this gives us the option like if you have several accounts in there to change that but it's just a different a couple different steps so again here new or outlook on the web gear compose and reply that's where it gets you. New Outlook, Gear, Signatures. Everything else is pretty much the same. So, weird video, uh, because I started it thinking that I was solving a problem, but it looks like Microsoft kind of solved the problem, but still the, um, the phone links aren't click to call. But at least I showed you how to overcome that issue. Uh, hopefully this helps. I don't know. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.